In a repeat of the 2003 FAI Cup final, St. Patrick's Athletic and Longford Town fought it out for a place in the semi-finals of the FAI Cup at Richmond Park. St. Pat's had to do without Keith Fahey, Mark Rooney, Kevin Grogan and Stephen Quigley, while Longford Town were without David Freeman and Stephen Paisley. The home side got off to a cracking start when they went 1-0 up after just three minutes. With David Mooney caught in possession, Trevor Malloy gathered the ball and raced across before cutting inside Longford Town defender Kevin Doherty and the 29-year-old sent in a rasping shot beyond goalkeeper Mick Dempsey and into the top right corner. Longford Town responded though with a number of goal scoring opportunities. In the sixth minute, Robbie Martin's free kick was saved by Pat's keeper, Barry Ryan. Minutes later, Martin surged down the flanks and his low cross in was met by David Mooney and his effort just glanced wide of the post. But Longford Town were hit with a major setback after 26 minutes when they were reduced to 10 men and conceded a penalty. Pat's midfielder Anton Murphy had got the better of Dean Fitzgerald and he was bearing down on goal when Dan O'Connor came racing across and clipped the heels of Murphy inside the box. Referee Pat Whelan promptly reached for his red card and O'Connor was sent off. From the resulting spot kick, Michael Foley sent Dempsey the wrong way to push Pat's into a 2-0 lead. 16 minutes into the second half and Pats increased their advantage to 3-0. Mark Rutherford produced a storming run down the flanks and he sent in a low cross into the box where Malloy was waiting and he turned the ball home thanks to a deflection from Sean Prunty. Nine minutes later, Longford Town did manage to pull a goal back. Alan Kirby secured the ball and he laid it off to Martin who smashed it home. So just when the game started to look a bit brighter for the visitors, it actually got worse. In the 79th minute, the ref awarded another penalty to Pats. Malloy fired in a shot and Davy Byrne was adjudged to have handled the ball in the area. Up stepped Malloy to try and complete a hat-trick and he succeeded when he also managed to send Dempsey the wrong way. It really was a night nice to forget for the Midlanders because a minute later they were reduced to nine men. After giving away that penalty a minute earlier, Byrne was shown a red card for raising his arm as he challenged Murphy near the sideline. It was a frustrating end to a frustrating evening for Longford Town. 4-1 to St Pat's was how it finished and John McDonald's men are now two victories away from ending the Saints 45 year wait.